doing some collaborative problem solving here. We are outside in the beautiful fall weather this morning. There is a little break in the rain. It's supposed to rain all afternoon and all evening, so we decided to get on, out on a walk this morning. The red leaves. Way out there. And so orange fun. and green and blah. All the different colors. Mwah. So this is our Airbnb. We are out, outside of Boston. We're in Hingham. Hingham. We're in Hingham, Hingham. Massachusetts. Hingham, Massachusetts. Lots and lots of leaves, huh? Look at those beautiful ones. There's also pink leaves. There's pink leaves? There are so many leaves on the ground right here. Uh-oh, Janae discovered a house. That is darling. Look at how pretty this is. It was a tough decision about whether to stay in a rental in downtown Boston or outside of Boston, but we really wanted to enjoy some of the smaller, quiet moments of fall. Oh my goodness, they're in the middle of changing. They're like half green, half red. So like Christmas. They do, they look like Christmas. It's starting to feel like Christmas. So it's 61 degrees out here. It's not really too cold, it's kind of perfect. It's overcast it and it's kind of misty, but it's beautiful, it feels like fall. <gasps> Isaac's trying! Oh! Isaac wants to catch a leaf. That's his goal. There comes one. There comes one. Catching falling leaves is a favorite family fall activity. Get them! Get the leaves! Get the leaves! Oh, behind you! Behind you! It's harder than it looks. Go outside and try to catch a leaf. Oh! Oh, there's a bunch of them. They're coming. Jeremy, right behind you. Oh! You both got one. Oh! That was true success. Jeremy and Isaac both caught one at the same time. Let's go into slow-mo to see who got it first. Dun, dun, dun. I bet it was Dad. We came to Boston to see all the historical stuff but I definitely was most excited for these kind of moments. The little unplanned family moments outdoors, those are always my favorite. Now we're gonna eat some lunch, some leftovers from our dinner last night before we head to Boston to play. Where are we going today? Science. Science what? Museum. Check out the ceiling. Incredible. Elise loves insects and bugs. Buffalo oh beetle. <laughs> All right, we're gonna figure out which slide is fastest. Okay, now you press the button, and we're gonna see which one's fastest. Yep, the green one. Woo! Did the red one win? Oh, I think it's showing us that the yellow one won. The yellow one did win. Time to go to the Engineering Design and Workshop Center. Try to hit them. <laughs> you know it's a good exhibit when Dad wants to play. We want to know which swing is faster. Laura is pushing Elise, and I'm pushing Janae. So count to ten swings. Who gets to ten first? One, two, two, four, six, eight, 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 e
how many there are. I would say 1,053. All right, in the comments, how many do you think there are? Wait, can you check the answer? I'd say it has about 2,070. All right, here's our guesses. 1,000. 1,775. 14, 16. 2,075. And my guess is 2,500. Let's see how many balls there are. Da -da -da. Oh, 1,500. You were close. I guessed 14, 16. I had no idea that 3D printed glass was a thing. But look how beautiful these different structures are. <laughs> oh, there's something in there. Ah. Ew. You want to touch it? <laughs> no, Here no, you no, go. no, 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 no. <laughs> there's some funny walks going on over here. <laughs> no, no. There it is. There it is. Well, I'm the We're trying to see who can get the most calories. Right now, 329 is my record. 315. Oh, 14 off, and you have long legs. <laughs> Those trees are in Puerto Rico. We have these in Puerto Rico. Look, Puerto Rico came to us all the way here in Boston. And look at back behind them. I know, that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at the view. It's beautiful. This is petrified lightning. I didn't even know that was a thing. Look at this. Oh my goodness. So here's what happened. Lightning struck sand in South Carolina and it was so hot that it turned a tube of sand into glass. And that's what formed this. All right, stick it in there. It'll pull up on the screen. The Elise plane. Can I see mine? <laughs> there it is. The Elise plane. Wow. Janae, there is yours. That's yours. Okay, so you're building something and trying to dive deep. I want to see Janae. Ooh! Ice cream. You made an ice cream. That's a good one. I found him out. Oh, let's see what happens. Will it work? So he's gonna go in. The rat goes in, and then you're gonna tell him what to do. Here it comes. Shovel. You did it. There is nothing to fall. Oh. So you put in your program. And you press run, and then this little thing happened. Did it work? Granny Dro is also trying the program and collect activity. There's kind of different challenges on each of these. This is so interesting. So they're doing some collaborative problem solving here. We're trying to conquer level three. We did. We've tried and failed so many times. What I love about this section is it's a bunch of games that are all trial and error. You have to keep working on it, keep trying to solve the problem. So, New England is known for their fish and chips, so we had to get some. And this place has awesome gluten-free options. Fried food, gluten-free. That's very rare. So Isaac and Caleb are enjoying the sports, but Janae decided she wanted to watch a cartoon. And there was a cartoon on over there. So she pulled out a chair right to the middle of the room over there. She's watching a cartoon. <laughs> Cheers, <that's her. laughs> Jeremy's next victim. Oh, it's a draw. You got me. Boom! Isaac for the win and just dessert. in time because dessert has arrived. We rarely, rarely order dessert at restaurants, but we're on vacation. So this is a very special occasion. It is so cold out here. I want to heat the car up. Can you please turn the car warmer? No, but it's windy and yeah, but rainy. We didn't bring our, yeah, we didn't bring our jackets in the thing. So into the restaurant? It you won't can't open, open the door. <laughs> <laughs> it has a suction. None of them can get out. Here they come. Oh, spray snow! <laughs> Isn't that cold? <laughs> Isn't 
I'm still in the restaurant and Laura comes back to me. She says, Mom, there is something wrong. There is something super strong and cold coming in the front door. And it won't open. <laughs> We're gonna drive home in this chilly rain and enjoy the pretty fall leaves and go home and like snuggle. So we have the fire going. Kendra has a special children's book she's wanting to read to us tonight. We're gonna read Make Way for Ducklings. It's by Robert McCloskey and it is the official state picture book of Massachusetts. Mr. and Mrs. Mallard were looking for a place to live, but every time Mr. Mallard saw what looked like a nice place, Mrs. Mallard said it was mm, no good. Next morning, they fished for their breakfast in the mud. Just as they were getting ready to start on the We saw way. that bridge outside the, the, yeah. Yeah, the windows. Yeah. The yeah. Then they waded ashore and waddled along till they came to the highway. <laughs> Good night, Jill.